Oh, no, the bloody Russians have pulled out of the war. <laughs> well, we soon saw them off, didn't we, sir? Miserable, slant-eyed, sausage-eating swine. <laughs> the Russians are on our side. <laughs> so the show's cancelled? Permanently. But what about the men's morale, sir, with the Russians out of the war and everything? Oh, for goodness sake, Blackhead, have you been living in a cave? The Americans joined the war yesterday. So how is that going to improve the men's morale, sir? <laughs> oh, because, you gibbering imbecile, they've brought with them the largest collection of Charlie Chaplin films in existence. <laughs> George, are you trying to tell me that you are the General's perfect woman? Well, yes, I rather think I am. <laughs> I'm going to marry her on Saturday, and I want you to be my best man. <laughs> I don't think that would be a very good idea, sir. And why not? Because there's something wrong with your fiancée, sir. <laughs> oh, my God, she's not Welsh, is she? Uh, have you ever been to Wales, Warren? No, but I've often thought I'd like to. Well, don't. It's a ghastly place. <laughs> Huge gangs of tough, sinewy men roam the valleys, terrifying people with their close harmony singing. <laughs> You need half a pint of phlegm in your throat just to pronounce the place name. <laughs> Never ask for directions in Wales, Baldwin. You'll be washing spit out of your hair for a fortnight. <laughs>
You looking forward to giving those Frenchies a damn good licking? Uh, no, sir. It's the Germans we should be licking, sir. Don't be revolting, Dan. <laughs> I wouldn't lick a German if he was glazed in honey. <laughs> I've heard what these Germans will do, sir. They'll have their wicked way with anything of woman born. Well, in that case, Baldrick, you're quite safe. <laughs> However, the Teutonic reputation for brutality is well-founded. Their operas last three or four days. <laughs> and they have no word for fluffy. I'm Oberleutnant von Gerhard. I have a message from the Baron von Richthofen, the greatest living German. Which, considering his competition consists entirely of very fat men in leather shorts burping to the tune of Shuba coming round the mountain, <laughs> is no great achievement. Quit! <laughs> the war started because of the vile Hun and his villainous empire building. George, the British Empire at present covers a quarter of the globe, while the German Empire consists of a small sausage factory in Tanganyika. <laughs> I hardly think that we can be entirely absolved from blame on the imperialistic front. Uh, oh, no. No, sir. Absolutely not. Man's a bicycle. <laughs> and no casual girlfriends. Skirt? Ha! If only. When I joined up, we were still fighting colonial wars. If you saw someone in a skirt, you shot him and nicked his country. <laughs> and yet, sometimes you sound as if you very well haven't enjoyed soldiering at all. Well, you see, George, I did like it back in the old days when the prerequisite of a British campaign was that the enemy should, under no circumstances, carry guns. <laughs> Even spears made us think twice. The kind of people we liked to fight were two feet tall and armed with dry grass. <laughs> oh, now, come off it, sir. What about Mboto Gorge, for heaven's sake? Yes, that was a bit of a nasty one. 10,000 Watusi warriors armed to the teeth with kiwi fruit and guava hard. <laughs> After the battle, instead of taking prisoners, we simply made a huge fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky you English are to find the toilet so amusing! <laughs> For us, it is a mundane and functional item. For you, it's the basis of an entire culture. <laughs> See, this is interesting. There appears to be a large orange hedge moving towards us. Uh, that's not a hedge, Consul. That's the Scots. 